second song I wrote in San Francisco, we were asked to do a tour. I was still the guess who, it was 1968. And uh, we were the opening act, and the next act was Alice Cooper. The next act was uh, Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention. So we went on tour with these guys, and we were the freaks. We showed up in Beatles suits with pink shirts and ties that looked like the Beatles album. And what Alice Cooper was wearing and Frank and the Mothers was outrageous, incredible, it'd be cool. Girl stuff and all that stuff. And so we do these four gigs, Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, and San Francisco. Could not wait for San Francisco. Went to Haight Ashbury, tried to see a hippie. The guy that was on the cover of Rolling Stone, the bare chest with a peace sign, flowers in his hair. And he said, well, you gotta go to the University of Telegraph Avenue over in Berkeley. Went over and saw this guy, had my picture taken with him. Bought a bunch of vinyl, then you could buy bootleg vinyl, you had to sneak it out of the store that the federal guys would arrest you for bootlegging. So I buy a bunch of Bob Dylan and Neil Young albums in Buffalo Springfield, and I'm gonna go put it in my car. <clears throat> There's three guys coming down the street towards me. They give me a glare. You got, you know the glare, like the glare that you get in a bar fight. Remember the guy that got smoked? Matt Dillon be at the front of the screen, and you see another guy at the end of the street. Well, I'm Matt Dillon, but there's three guys at the end of the street coming towards me, bulging muscles, tattoos, cut off sleeves, everything. They give me the glare. Like, oh, oh, it's fight or flight. And suddenly I hear this noise, this little brown car, remember the Pinto? This little brown Pinto pulls up with a blue door, the, the front bumper's hanging off, it's held on with a coat hanger, it's like put together from a wreck. And when they hear the noise of this car, because the muffler is sparking and dragging on, this, on the road, it was sparking and everything. They hear this car, two of the macho men leave, and they leave this one guy there, they're not macho anymore, because this car has showed up. Out of this car gets a little five foot tall woman, and starts railing on this one guy who's saying, now he's, not giving me the macho look, he's kind of shrugging, and she's saying, you're no good, bum. I know that you're out with your buddies checking out all the chicks at the university. You're supposed to be looking for a real job, and I don't mean sitting in a coffee shop reading the want ads, I mean looking for the job. You left me at home with the kids again. You didn't take out the garbage when you left. The whole list of this guy looks at me and he shrugs, and she says, get in the car, baby. And furthermore, when you get home, you ain't getting no sugar tonight. <laughs>